Boatloans.com. Boatloans.com for all your new and refinancing needs for uh, your boats. Go to Boatloans.com. All right, what we're going to do today is uh, we're going we're gonna to learn a very simple knot. It's a dropper loop, and off of the dropper loop, you can make you can do so much things. It's a very important knot to know. It's an easy knot. It's pretty simple. What we're going to do today for this for this one, we're going to just uh, show you how to do a, a dropper loop with and without a swivel. So right now we're going to do the without the swivel. So we're going to take, I got about a almost a four foot section of, of leader here. So what we're going to do, this is 40 pound test fluorocarbon. Uh, cigar fluorocarbon we're gonna make us you make a loop now for this one we're gonna be making a rig out of it um, a, a double hook rig so what we're gonna do is you take your swivel put your swivel down through one end get your swivel in the middle if I can keep my swivel on the on the hook sorry for the close-ups but I think it's the best way to be able to uh, so you guys can see what's going on. So we're gonna do, with this rigs and a lot of these rigs on double hook rigs with a swivel, I try not to make them even. I want I want one shorter and longer so they don't tangle up so much. So here you're gonna take it and you're gonna twist and turn a loop and you're gonna have your swivel dangling from the bottom. All right, so you want your swivel to dangle down on the bottom in your loop. Now you're gonna take one or the other ends, and we're going to come through six times. One, two, three, four, five, and one more six. All right, so now you can see our swivel's still down there in the middle. We've got six loops, two tag ends. Now, you want your swivel to go kind of in the middle of this loop and you're going to bring it up and you're going to open it down the middle with one of these twists. You're going to pinch it up. Can't see it real well. Then we're going to open up a loop. You got twists on each side. You're going to come down approximately down the middle. You're going to push the swivel up through. And this is where I know we always use our mouths. Our dentists love us, so push it up through, moist everything down, push it down through, and I'm going to grab the, the loop that the swivel's on, and I'm going to bring it like that. See where the, the twists, you got all the twists and the loop coming through. You're going to pull, hold your loop tight because you don't want it to... Uh, you don't want to get any kind of slack in there. So you got your loops, your loops coming down, your dropper loops coming down. Your knots are tightening on both ends. <clears throat> and then you squeeze it down and there's your dropper loop with a swivel. So you got, a sw you know, you got your attachment right there, it's already on it. <clears throat> I don't like clipping snap swivels or anything in here. I like to add this this swivel right into the loop, especially for this. This is going to be for a double hook uh, clam rig for striped bass. You can use them for red drum, and uh, this end will top, tie to your <clears throat> to your main line to your rod. We'll go here. A lot of guys will put a uh, a sinker slide and it'll butt up to this and run free. So when this is sitting on the bottom, it's just kind of floating there with two. Uh, you know, with your two hooks, leaders for two hooks. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, we got the dropper loop with the swivel. This is a dropper loop rig with the swivel attached. <clears throat> Alright guys, now what we're going to go, we're back with our uh, dropper loop with the swivel attached. What we're going to do is, uh, we're going to make this a double clam rig. Like I said, you can use it for, uh, Clamming in the back for stripers. Guys down south can use it for, if they're using clams for drum, um, for smaller drum. I'm putting a uh, two 60 mustads. One gets snelled on each end. Now with this, um, with this rig here, 
The snelling's a little bit different than, I've, than we've done in the past, but we're going to come through. We're going to bring our one tag line. We're going to come through and we're coming through the eye of the hook, the bent up eye. We're going to make ourselves a, we're going to have a pretty big tag end on here. Because what you want to do now is you make a loop on the hook. See it right there? You look at it that way, you're looking down from the point back. And then we take this tag end and we spin it around and we start working towards the bend of the hook. One, two, three, four, five. You gotta hold on to it pretty tight. And then you come back through, through the loop. Here's the loop here. Bring it through the loop and you start to, you don't want it to get too close to the eye because so you, you don't want it to flip over, over the eye. So you slowly start to push it towards the eye, tightening down, using our teeth again. And then they start to bunch up. You want them bunched up before you get to here because if there's a loop, it'll flop over top and that's no good. So you bring it down to the eye, cinch it down tight. You don't want to tighten it down here because then you gotta, you don't want to create any slack, but then you tighten it, see it locked in. You can see it lock in. So now you got one end snelled on your hook, swivel. One side's got a leader on it. That way, you put a clam on this one and you can put a clam on the other one. Trim your tag ends pretty tight. Come down towards the knot, trim it up. Now we're gonna go on the other side. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put a snell hook on this one. <clears throat> Again, coming through the eye of the hook, through the eye. All right, you know, you can, I'm gonna do the loop on the back side this time instead of trying to work around the tip. So you come in, make your loop, tighten it down a little bit, start working towards the bend of the hook around it once, two, three, four, five, it gets a little tight. You gotta get through to that loop and then slowly Careful with your up above your bend. They work down a little bit. Pull it down towards the, the bend a little bit so it's not up, doesn't flip over your eye. Again. Tighten it up. See how it is on, you know, they're all kind of spread out. You want to take up that slack with this back line. And then slowly. Push it towards the eye of the hook. They're all kind of in a row. Lock it in. Lock that in. That'll pull that, that loop pulls this line up in there and it gives you a tight connection. <clears throat> so, there you go. Pull them down tight. Pull them down tight, pulls it in. And then you got one hook longer than the other. The lay on the bottom, it'll spread out a little bit. So you got your swivel here, and you got two <clears> hooks. <throat> you could have made them a little, I could have made them a little bit further apart, because uh, you really don't want them to tangle up at all. So that's your double clam rig. Um, you know, double hook there with a dropper loop in the middle, and then you have your you put two chunks of clam, chunks of bunker. You know, these are usually used for, you know, smaller school size fish or smaller fish. Uh, if you're going for anything bigger, you want to use some heavier line. It's a 40 pound test. Um, <clears throat> you know, and in the springtime, we're also going to show you, I'm going to show you one for big stripers and also for clamming for, uh, for big drum fish in Delaware Bay. But you can use this anywhere you chunk. Anywhere you do any kind of, you know, chunk bait fishing. And then, like I said, this will go on a, uh, with a sinker slide. I know I have a sinker slide around here somewhere. But the sinker slide goes on your main line. And it comes into here, tied to your swivel. So that's hanging with heavy. 
We're doing uh, you know tips and tricks hanging with heavy. Brought to you by Boatloans.com. Please check out Boatloans.com for all your refinancing or new boat financing needs. Go to Boatloans.com. They're a great supporter of me and this program. And uh, go on to uh, Boatloans.com and check out their rates. Uh, they're going to be hard to beat by anybody. Thank you and have a great day.